Hello! So, if you've been following us on Twitter, you know we've been toiling away in our workshop's AI lab non-stop. Every night, another switch, another dial. What began as a programming project quickly became more of an observational study into ant behavior. As you can see, these virtual ants, like most ants, live in ant hill. In the real world, leafcutter ants forage for bits of grass, which they use as fertilizer for their underground fungus farms. These virtual ants, however, have evolved differently. Their ant hill is equipped with a retro arcade filled with ant-sized pinball machines. Initially, it wasn't clear where the ants went when they left the lawn we provided for them, but then strange objects started to litter their burrows. Ant-sized Polaroids of toy dinosaurs, ZOM liability waivers, I'm ant number 3,483 and you're not bumper stickers, and tax forms claiming write-offs for bucks that had been kicked. At this point, it became obvious that the ants had been watching YouTube videos and had joined the geek group, just when we thought we'd soon see tiny Tesla coils arcing between applications, something grabbed the ants' attention. Some of you may remember this video which Jerry Ellsworth posted a few weeks ago. You see, we didn't program these ants to have a queen, and when they saw this, they immediately went to work collecting as many Ben Heck heads as they could. From what we can tell, the ants seem to be using the Ben Heck heads as a source of carbon to fuel their 3D printer. They may be fabricating pinball machine parts. To find these heads, the ants wander away from their ant hill randomly until they sense nearby Heck head, or pheromones, which they will move toward. In the case of a head, they will bite off a chunk and carry it back to their lair, leaving a trail of magic sparkly pheromones all the way home. Any other ant, who doesn't have a chunk of Ben in its robo-ant pincers, will follow this effervescent highway back to the head, grabbing another chunk and dropping its own reinforcing scent on the way back to the ant hill. In this way, the ants who are individually very simple-minded are able to use their environment as an external memory and processor, a trick which optimizes their group effort. The ants can now collect this natural resource quickly and efficiently. To learn more about how the brains of these ants function, check out parts one and two of this series on our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. Our first goal is to provide tons of inspiration, entertainment, and how-to education for free. And to make that sustainable, we're thinking about participating in the YouTube Partner Program. If you would like to help us achieve that goal, it's easy. Share our videos, tweet about us. A few well-placed words from you guys, and we'll quickly be able to get to work on our bigger video projects. Thanks for watching.